we get to a place in our spiritual journey where we start to see ourselves as perfect. Now, this isn't the type of perfect where you're like, um, look at me, look at me. You want everybody to notice you, but this is that kind of perfect that necessarily doesn't really want everybody to look at them that you know they're still a shy and introvert type of person or what have you and I feel like I'm kind of not saying this right but it's that that uh you know that person that doesn't need all the attention doesn't want all the attention okay it's not that look at me type of energy however it's that I've evolved past my self-esteem issues. I have overcome a lot of things that have got me to this place of feeling this way. I have also, um, done the things through prayer and meditation to connect myself higher and higher. Uh, I should say to higher and higher states of consciousness and connection with the universe and oneness. Okay. And when you get to the state of oneness where you realize that you are the universe, the universe is you, you are God, God is you. When you look at somebody else, you can see, uh, you know, the mirror effect. And even if it's a stranger, you can see that mirror effect as to why they were put into your reality at that time. Okay, so fast forwarding to this morning starting my car up, warming it up like I always would, and, um, I kind of meditated for about 30 seconds. I don't intend on thinking on anything in particular. I just allow to come through whatever comes through. I do this several times a day, and this was the first time that I'd done it today, and the question came to me, do you see yourself as perfect? And instantly, the answer was yes, but then... I kind of intuitively knew to break that down and spirit started showing me all these different scenarios and situations that I've been in in the past few years, several years, where it has, uh, certain things that I've went through has kind of taken me to this place of not feeling as confident as I used to, to not feeling as brave as I used to, to... Um, you know, not being so fully in my self-esteem where I can say that I truly feel 100% full unconditional love for myself and others. Now, I was at that place uh, several times in my journey. And then there's been times where, you know, I've just been ta challenged in things and I've allowed those things to overwhelm me in a way, not in a way where like my emotions were all over the place, but overwhelm me in such a way where... I was constantly waiting on something to happen, yet not putting action into anything, okay? Not that I didn't want to do the work, or I didn't know how to do the work, or, you know, I didn't know how to put in that action. It was just circumstances and situations in my life I'd be so super focused on that I failed to see that I was letting those situations or energies uh, control me from and stop me from fulfilling or doing things that I wanted to, to accomplish. And so now I'm at this place where spirits asking me this morning, and this is not the first time that this question has been asked to me, but ask me again this morning, are you, do you feel perfect? And the answer was no. After I went through that whole, you know, 30 seconds of spirit show me things, the answer was no, I don't feel perfect anymore. And then it, there was this breakdown of the reasons why spirit showed me this person said this, or you allowed this to happen or, you know, and it just showed me different things where I could be putting energy in, but I didn't. And, um, so the question for you today is, do you feel perfect? Are you at a place in your spiritual journey where you can say that you can feel that connection of oneness? that you uh, no longer judge yourself. You, you may no longer judge others, but you know, that's one of those things that, 
you know, I think that we'll always be healing from, that we'll always be learning from, I should say. I, I feel like there's certain things that we're not completely meant to fully heal, and judgment is one of those things. But I think that that comes so that we can have a stronger sense of compassion once we see that judgment as being something that we shouldn't have done. Because anytime we're judging somebody, we need to take a look at ourselves, and that's what this journey shows us, is those things that we need to see. So anyhow, do you feel perfect? And go a little bit further. Do you fully love yourself? I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Much love.